Hi, welcome in to another remarks from the Rebels. Why not bring a Rebel up here in uh, Arizona State Country? I got Eric Williams with me. Eric, welcome in. Thank you for having me. So, tell me a little bit about what it's been like. You guys are uh, coming off of a long break as I was at the ACHA, but you got a big win last night. How are things going? Uh, you know, pretty good. I think it's a, it's a good win coming off break. You know, six weeks is kind of a long time off, but came out with a big win and looking for another one tonight. You know, before the break, you came off a huge win and a tournament win. What was it like to win a trophy and bring a trophy back to Vegas? I think, you know, just a good high note to end off on going into break. And, you know, anytime you can win something like that against the top ranked team, it's, it's pretty special. And you know, a special group of guys here. So, just keep moving forward and moving up. Does that build confidence in you guys as well, knowing that you can go out and beat teams like Alabama and Illinois and stuff like that? Absolutely. You know, we, we know we have a good team out here and we just got to play confident. And, you know, we know we can hang with anybody. And being a, or beating a good team like that before break, we really you know, instill the confidence for the second half. Give me a feel for what it's like at UNLV. You guys, uh, four years ago, were kind of in disarray, and now, you know, with the, your staff that you guys put together, and, and now the team that's coming in, and the, the building with uh, the Golden Knights and that unity. What's hockey like at UNLV? Uh, you know, it's just up and coming. You know, we started down D2 club, moved away up to D1 club, and then, you know, now we have a great program, great coaches, great staff that are doing what they can to help us do, or go up to the Division One level. And, you know, it's all, it's been fun, it's been really good, good support from the fans and, you know, Vegas has really embraced us and, you know, it's just, it's been a lot of fun. So you growing up in Henderson, did you think four years ago, five years ago, that you were going to see a UNLV program at this level? Um, you know, I, there was a thought in my head, just because I've known Coach Beaner for a long time and it's what he wanted and, right. you know, I thought it's possible and then, you know, just seeing it all happen was pretty cool and now I'm playing part of it, so it's kind of special. So now you're here on the part of the four games, five nights. Kind of a brutal road trip, but as Coach told me last night, it's kind of mimicking what the national tournament would be like, where it's one and done, and it's four games and four nights. So, how are you guys approaching it right now? You know, I think it's going one one game at a time, keeping it simple. You know, it's, it's good to start off with a win, build some confidence in the second half, and you know, guys are just pushing along and getting our legs back under us, and got the rust off yesterday. So, we're looking forward to the next few days. So, obviously, when the ACHA had D1 tournament. It's all about getting in first, right? You got to be in yeah. the rank part of it. And then once you're in, it becomes a battle, really. It's, it's the best teams in the country, and they're going at it. Uh, one loss, and you're done, as we said earlier. But how important is it for you guys to get as high of uh, a seat as you can coming into the national tournament? You know, I think it's, it's pretty important going in there and knowing you're a pretty good team. And, you know, nothing's going to be easy in nationals. Everyone's a good team. Everyone deserves to be there. So I think just being a high-ranking team can help build confidence in ourselves and you know we play Arizona this week and they're a high ranked team so you know if we can go out there and get a couple of wins in Tucson just you know build more confidence and establish the fact that we're going to be a solid team for the rest of the year. You spent the first part of the of the season the first semester mostly on the road now you get to come back and get some home cooking and get some fan support behind you so how much is that going to help you guys down the stretch? That's tremendous you know we play really well in front of our home fans you know a lot of support packed house every night and you know, anytime you can have that opportunity to play a stretch of, I think we play nine games at home. Right. You know, just get the bus rolling and, you know, build the momentum going into the final you know, few weeks of the season and the Nationals. You know, it's no secret your locker room is just a few feet away from the Golden Knights locker room. And what has their success done for not only hockey in Vegas, but for you guys? Has it rubbed off on you guys as well? I think it has, you know. It's kind of, you know, Vegas is turning into hockey town now. and. You know, the community seeing that and coming out to support us and then you know we love that we have fans at our practice even so you know you walk out of our locker room see the golden knights locker room every day and it's kind of you know they started the whole thing there at city national and then we're just kind of adding on to it and you know whatever we can do to help the community and you know provide the community some good hockey other than the knights why not so i know a couple of uh, years ago talk was that you guys would would like to be an ncaa program at some time and now the with the Golden Knights' success and with the success of the Arizona State NCAA team, at least the media attention is growing a little bit. Do you guys think about that at all, or do you just try to put it in the back of your head and play for where you're at right now? You know, we, we think about it sometimes, but you know, for the most part, we just show up every day, practice, have fun. You know, if it happens soon, it's great. It takes a few years. You know, it'd be cool to say we were part of the program that we kind of got turned around and rolling, and you know, we were kind of foundation to get to the D1 program. Let's finish it up, Eric, by telling me how important it is for you to win almost the rivalry games with Arizona State and with U of A now and, and things like that. How important is it for you guys to pull, not only for the record, but just for dominance in the Desert Southwest, if you will? 
Yeah, I think, you know, beating, I mean, Arizona State's a good team. Arizona's obviously a good team. They're ranked high. And, you know, being them can kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, kind of solidify our, our spot in the Southwest and, you know, realize that hockey's not bad in the Southwest. There's some top programs for kids to go to. Awesome. Appreciate your time. Good luck tonight. Good luck the rest of the way. And we'll catch up with you in Vegas. Thanks. Appreciate it.